Hello, and welcome to Testing an App Code. I'm Phil Nash, and I'm going to give you a quick tour of getting up and running with several popular test frameworks. To start, we're going to look at the Quick framework, along with the Nimble Matches library. We'll add these into our project as third party dependencies using CocoaPods. We can now start writing what Quick calls a spec, as it models BDD. To do that, we override the spec method which app code makes easy with its implements and override feature. Within a spec, we can introduce name sections using describe and supply the test code as a closure. Describe corresponds to given in BDD. Then we can introduce a named logical assertion with it, which forms the beginning of a sentence that you complete in a string. We then have another closure, which we'll come back to. Because describe is like given, we should put any common starting state in here. We could also use context for BDD's when, but we'll skip that here and go straight into then, which we use it for. And now we can write the actual assertions as expect statements. With our first test spec now written, we can build and run using Control Shift R for run context configuration. And this will automatically create a corresponding run debug config, but it'll be grayed out as it's hidden. We now see the results of the test runner tool window. The tree view is a good fit for Quick's hierarchical test structures, which really helps finding tests when there are a lot of them. So this test failed. Over on the right, we see the constant output, telling us that we got a 1 when we expected a 0. In this case, it's the test that's wrong. So let's change that. Writing a test to deliberately fail the first time is a common practice, as it gives us more confidence when we see it go from red to green. And there it is, all green. So let's add some more tests. And now we have failures again. Notice we see both passing and failing tests, but we can filter to just the failures to keep it more focused. The tests are failing because we haven't implemented clear yet. So let's implement that now. Run again and success. All our tests are now green and we can expand the tree to see them all. So that was the quick framework. But what if we're just using XE test? Let's take a look at that, along with some other fundamental features in both Objective-C and Swift. Let's start again with some failed tests. Again, we see all the test results in the tree view, and we can filter down to just the failed ones. By the way, we can also sort them alphabetically or by duration. For most supported frameworks, although not quick, we can tell app code to rerun just the failed tests here. And since we haven't changed any code yet, this will still fail and it does. And now we can see from the test output that we still have elements after clearing. If we look back at the queue code, we can see that the clear method is empty again. So let's uncomment this line and rerun. After a few test runs and a few changes, it can be useful to look back at the history of test runs. For all supported frameworks, we can do that with this drop down here. Selecting any of these entries will show the past results as if we had just run them. We can also export any of these test results to XML or HTML. This gives us a nice report that we can share with others. As well as unit tests, we also have integrated support for XC UI tests. Here we have some UI tests written in both Swift and Objective-C. Let's choose one of those and run them with XC UI test. We see the tests running in the simulator and then the results in the test runner window, just like with the unit tests. As well as Swift and Objective-C, we also support C++ test frameworks. In this example, we're using Boost Test. We can run them using the Boost Test run configuration. As we can see, the integration works just the same as we saw before. We have predefined run configs for many popular C++ test frameworks, including Catch, which also has support for BDD style testing, and Google Test. Different frameworks have different ways of configuring and running and these are reflected in specialized run config options. So that's been a taster of the integrated testing support in AppCode.